lot of, lot of people that we collaborate with. curve that kind of, as the crop grows, it gets high, and then you have maximum crop growth. This is a limited irrigation research farm where we're trying to understand how we can maintain high crop yields with less water. We're measuring our irrigations, which are different. I mean, you go 50 feet away and it's, it's completely different than what you'll get here. Uh, we're measuring energy balance or the, the actual vapor that's coming off of the crop. Uh, we're measuring sap flow that's going through the plant itself. We're measuring uh, soil water status and changes in soil water balance. And then we're running things in the sky. We're running a UAV or, or what's commonly called a drone which is, I think is about to take off right there, it sounds like. Uh, we put that up in the sky and we'll measure canopy cover and canopy temperature, uh, multispectral reflectance. So with all the images, you can you know about the temperature, uh, how to say lower temperature, and then bright color is more. The more water your plant's going to use, the the more yield you have, and and that's generally true, and it's generally more or less a linear fashion. There's some exceptions to that. What we're trying to do is is find a point above that where you're actually getting more yield per water used, or more crop per drop. That's something that's changed out here a lot in the last five years. Really, their goal at the end of the day is to make money. Um, but sometimes if you're in the reality of having less water, this might be a tool that can help you get to that goal. That's really what we're shooting for. You can put them down further on the plant, uh, anywhere you want to know the water status of that part of the plant. Fundamental um, aspects of biochemistry. Uh, you do 3D printed clips and let it snap on there with the magnets and you're, and you're done. It's in the right spot. We want to have uh, wearable sensors that were made by San Diego National Labs for human skin use uh, for monitoring uh, fluid between cells right without drawing blood. And we have pledged like, to plants to make a wearable sensor to mo uh, for one of these to monitor as the water status of the plant. evaporation or evapotranspiration and uh, it's going up right now because our system is continuously monitoring that out um, uh, every minute uh, giving a full uh, a readout to tell you uh, if is the plant happy is it beginning to get a little unhappy has it has it seen some really serious stress all before you'd ever see anything different I mean right now this plant has been going through all kinds of changes of water potential as we've been sitting and talking um, and it looks the same to us. This increase in, in water loss, the, the water potential of the plant then is dropping, right, because it's losing water. You can have too much water, right, and then you're just wasting it. Uh, and, and so you want to have just enough for it to be happy. But periodically, especially late in the season, you often want to give it uh, less water to stress it some so that it knows to respond and make more chemicals that increase the flavor of, of, the, of the grapes or the tomatoes or the green chilies in New Mexico. They, you, at the end of the season, you stop irrigation for a week or two, depending on the environmental conditions. And you, you know, it takes a lot of experience to decide when that is. You put these sensors on here, and you just say, what water potential do you want to maintain? And then the irrigation will do that no matter if you get a cloudy weekend or a hot spell coming through. Any climate change stuff, it'll automatically uh, adapt to.